And I heard you say to Bob a few minutes ago, you've said it again, and you'll say it again tonight. Well, how about saying it again for us, for Phil and I, and for all the audience out there, the way this ball club is playing? Hard to put in words. They got the whole package going for them. Yeah, their boys are playing as good as you can possibly play, and they, and they are, Johnny. I mean, it's fun to watch. Um, you, you sit back and you watch this ball club kind of click on all cylinders, defense, base running, pitching, uh, timely hitting, home runs, w whatever you want right now they're doing. So, you know, I don't want to get too carried away. It's a great start. I wouldn't be giving up on this team if it was 1-9 and nine right now, so I'm not going to, you know, start mapping the parade route at 9-1. and one. That said... You know, as a former player, when you look at the process and you look at how they're playing the game of baseball, throw the record out the window. Even if they were 5-5 five and five right now, the way they're playing the game, the process, the way they're going about it, throwing strikes, first pitch strikes, making every play, running the bases aggressively, you know, driving guys in, keeping the line moving, all the cliches, they're doing it. And who they're doing it against really isn't the story. It's the major leagues, and they're, they're playing as good as you can play. Well, since you're the only one of us who has any experience playing for Dusty Baker, I mean, obviously 9-1 is a terrific record. It's all about the players most of the time. But I have to believe that Dusty Baker's input uh, impact on this team in terms of how relaxed they seem to be on the field is huge. It is, Phil. It, it, it's, you know, even tonight I was watching before Max Scherzer went up in that at-bat you were just talking about. And he walked back to the dugout, and I don't know what was said, but there was a little conversation between Max and Dusty. I don't know if it was be aggressive or, you know, he'll say things to you like, no way they walked him to get to you. Like, try to get you fired up all the time. There's constant motivation. There's constant communication. And like I've said before in the broadcast, I don't think Dusty gets enough credit for being a smart manager. He's made all the right decisions from a bullpen standpoint, when to take a pitcher out, when to leave him in. So, I mean, after 10 games this year, I mean, knock on wood, it couldn't be any better. So if this team stays healthy, they keep improving on a daily basis, they stay hungry. Uh, you're included. I forgot the bench, by the way. The, any, any time he plugs a guy in, they're performing. So, I mean, just you name it right now, they're doing it. And it's really, really fun to watch. You know, FP, you might have played for Dusty Baker. I never played in the major leagues. All I played was high school baseball. But I got you one up, buddy, because I was with Dusty at the Monterey Pops Festival. You were not. Were you, with, were you with Jimi Hendrix and Dusty Baker? <laughs> Absolutely, I was. <laughs> Let me see you top that one, baby, okay? <laughs> this is a family show. We won't get into that. I understand that. I understand that. And we'll check you out. So don't forget, tomorrow's 1.30 game. Get a good night's rest, okay? Yeah, that's not going to happen. Thanks, Johnny. I understand that. We'll see you.